to tie today is a midge larva pattern and I've um, I've done quite well on it uh, the last couple seasons out here in the west on still waters and uh, tied in smaller sizes done, has done pretty well on some rivers as well too so really simple pattern uh, only takes a few minutes to tie and uh, we'll get right to it. I'm gonna start my thread here right behind the hook eye. The hook I'm using is a 2499 SPBL Super Point Barbless from Tiemco. Very, very uh, strong hook and sharp as well. But if if the hook's not available to you, you can use any type of curved scud, curved shank scud hook. That works just fine too as well. So what I'm going to do is lay a thread base. I'll take a section of small silver wire that I'll use for my rib. I'm going to tie this on the near side of the hook. So on my side of the hook, I'm going to tie this in. Now with these midge larvae, you, you know, judging on size, you wouldn't really think that fish are going to eat eat this, but. Um, They, they are found in large numbers in a, in a number of still waters and streams so they are readily available to trout and trout enjoy them uh, quite frequently so also on the uh, on the Outsmarting Fish blog you'll see a picture of me with a pretty hefty rainbow and that that rainbow took this fly so that should be a testament in itself that big fish do eat small flies such as these. Now this is tied on a size six hook. Um, I'm doing that just for for visibility's sake to help you see. But I tie them in uh, for still waters. I've I've tied them in you know size eight down to. 16 done pretty well and then on on rivers uh, 14 down to to 22 so I'm just going to build up a little bit of a taper here and the thread I'm using is is Danville's 6 aught unwaxed I like the thread because it lays flat on the on the shank. It allows you to build up super smooth bodies, such as as one needed for this fly. Now, <coughs> the next uh, step will be to just spiral wrap the wire. I usually take one to two turns down at the at the thread where I where I. Uh, and did the body and then I'm just going to spiral wrap back up towards the hook eye and once I'm back up where my where my yeah, my thread is behind the hook eye I'll just tie off the wire and pull it off without damaging my scissors trying to cut that wire. That's the best way to, to ruin your scissors is to cut wire with them. And then five turn whip finish. Make sure that's seated in.
break it off. And then uh, next up here, I've got a uh, slightly used um, fingernail polish container. I don't know what you. I don't use fingernail polish that much, so I don't know what you call a container of fingernail polish. But anyway, it's uh, sinful, sinful colors, professional, in uh, in just a a translucent color with uh, with glitters on it. And I use those this uh, these sinful colors because I like the the glitter in there and what it does when it dries is it creates kind of a, a shiny effect on on the bug. And it looks it looks uh, suggestive and shiny with the sparkly flecks in it. Never thought I'd say that about nail polish, but uh, the, the fish really really dig it. They love it. And what I'm going to do then is just let this fly dry and. Once it's dry, it, it takes a couple minutes to dry. Once it's dry, it's ready to fish. So uh, try it out. See how many fish you can uh, you can feed with it this year. And uh, and there you go, Mitch larva, sinful creations.